YouTube, what's going on? Tommy Styles here, Muscle Factory Gym, Tempe, Arizona. KJ behind the camera today. I'm hooked up to electricity. Don Nasta, creator of the Pro Method, is here today to put me through a pull workout on the new fit. I'm gonna kick it over to her. She's kind of gonna give you an idea of what we're doing, but before I do that, like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Let's get those subscribers up. Um, I've got a few more videos to put out. Uh, I've been wanting to get on the new fit with Dawn for a while, so um, we're gonna incorporate that into my training moving forward into next year. So I'm gonna kick it to her. She's gonna tell you what we're gonna do, and we'll go from there. Perfect, thank you. So we actually have you strategically padded. So we have each side of his back padded separately on the channel, so that way we can even out any imbalance or asymmetry that there may be, which would generally just be from posing yeah. or compensation patterns. Um, the few things that we're going to focus on by training on the new fit are really enhancing that symmetry and balance by being able to utilize the electricity to adapt for any strength differences on the side of the back. Um, we're also going to train his body to get into recovery faster and better. So while we are training him on his working sets, he is in different hypertrophy settings. And then as soon as we are in his uh, recovery, or not, are not in the active set component, we're putting him into a recovery setting as well. So we're training his body to go from performance recovery, performance recovery, because as we now know, that's really where the magic happens, is in the recovery aspect, not in the fight or flight concept. So um, we're gonna be utilizing uh, specific frequencies for him because of how, uh, because of his strength training and how advanced he is. So we're gonna be sticking, we're gonna be warming up with around 500 and then we're going to be fluctuating between 40, 55, and 75, which are the maximum hypertrophy settings for our active sets. So that's what we're about to do. And on top of that, so I do have a left lat that gets stuck and doesn't come out like the right side does. Um, Don worked on it all the way into USA's last year. It's something to do with how I sleep, and I think there's some posturing issues and a lot of movement. So putting the new fit into play and allowing me, allowing her to work on it is also actively helping pull that lat out over time in conjunction with body work. So um, something else to think about if you have like a, like she said, asymmetry, body parts that don't have the same symmetry on each side or one's bigger than the other, which in my case, my right lat looks bigger than the left, but it's simply just because the left doesn't get pulled out as much. So little stuff like that is where the new fit shines, but we're gonna get after it. So we are opening with rack chins, a DC Dante Trudel staple. I did these for years. Um, I think they largely contributed to my width. I have a really wide frame. So if you're lacking width, throw these in. The setup is exactly how I'm doing them. I'm just not adding weight to my lap like I would if I was doing my normal training without being hooked up to this. But feet have to be crossed to prevent hamstring drive. You wanna do them in a Smith machine and uh, your body should take the shape of an L. So if you'll notice, I'm not turning this into a row. I'm keeping my hips down the whole time and keeping that L shape with my legs crossed on the bench in front of me. So keep in mind with the changing of the frequencies, you are progressively loading, right? You're not having weight on you, but we're slowing down the pull pattern enough that it's offering you more resistance, which is like having more weight. Okay, that yeah, that's... That second set felt harder to get to 10 reps. Does that make sense? 
sense. So it kind of tells you the difference, the difference in almost like weight. Really. How many times per week could you like train at this, what I'm doing? Uh, so I personally believe that, like, I personally believe that intensity is necessary. And so for something like this, I would do upper body and lower body, maybe, if you wanted to once a week. But it's not going to replace right. you getting down and dirty in your training. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to deal with details. It's going to deal with imbalances. But you still need to move heavy weight. You Ooh. still need to be feet. Yeah. Well, it got stuck on a different... It's on my love handle. Naturally, to all different parts of the lat. Right. Here, we can kind of forcibly do it and mm -hmm. make them all work together at the same intensity. technology that it takes dozens of times instead of thousands of times to reach an optimal movement. So when you're doing this, because it's a neuromuscular re-education piece, when you train on your own, this is just more effectively aligning that mind-muscle connection. So what you're doing now will give you a better like training session now, but it will activate those muscles for later use cognitively better. Does that make sense? Mm. So I have a lot of girls who will train glutes and they say, oh, well, I feel my glutes so much better now. And you should because it's actually re-educating the neuromuscular connection. Okay. So it's, it might even be teaching you neuromuscular because there's a lot of things that I like. One day I just connected with them after years of doing them. That would work well with what Jason does too because he can find trigger points and release. And then them coming to you would be like, re-educating with the release. Well, and the other thing is to think about it like if somebody has relied so much on their anterior delts for strength, right. their rear delts have naturally been more dormant. So it's going to be very hard for them to lose the dominance in their anterior delt if you don't get their rear delt up to par. You right. know what I mean? It's going to want to rely on the stronger muscle. Rear mm -hmm. delts are another one. It's really great. Just a chest supported row. Okay, I haven't used this one yet. Third exercise, we opened with rack chins, then we did chest supported row on the prime. Now we're doing the prime lat pull down. So, saw in the second movement, my weights are about 50 to 60% of what I would normally do without being hooked up to this. And 
the stimulus is just as good, if not better. The pump's really good in the back. Um, I'm actually breathing heavier, I've noticed, on this machine than I do normally. So that's, that's feedback too. Um, so it's different than you've seen any of my other training videos, but again, it's for a purpose. So if I was gonna supplement what my normal training split is and how I train, something like this machine would be used one to two times per week, probably on areas that I need to bring up and improve. Sticker just fell off. That's where the person you work with becomes valuable, so that's why I have Dawn. She's worked with hundreds of people on it, pros, amateurs, everyday people. It's not the machine that does the work, it's the technician behind it. YouTube, that is a wrap. Back day on the new fit. Don Nass to put me through it. I am soaked. You probably can't see it on this white shirt, but drenched. It's 110 in Arizona, and that workout is a lot more cardiovascular taxing than what I normally do. So um, the pump was insane. My back is fully expand expanded. I feel better separation in my back shots. Um, so definitely something for me to keep in through the off season especially with the one lap that doesn't pop out and then into prep as well as just another tool to get the job done uh, it doesn't replace the hard and heavy training that I love to do and that's built my muscle um, but it is a tool to keep an open mind to to use to get better so um, you got anything to say no nope, that's it all right for Don Nasta KJ behind the camera I'm Tommy Styles at Muscle Factory Gym in Tempe Arizona until next time we are out of here.